Sports day at Buster School. First is the 100 meter sprint. On your marks, get set, go! Go, Buster! He's the winner! Hooray! That was easy. Buster is the fastest in school. Next up, it's the high jump. Scouts up first. Scoot, scoot! Wow, that was awesome! Buster thinks he can beat that jump. Off he goes. Oops! Don't worry, Buster. He doesn't look very happy. It's the egg and spoon race next. Get ready and go! Buster really wants to win. Whoops! Buster was going too fast and smashed the egg. Oh dear. And Ash is the winner. Well done, Ash. Buster is annoyed about losing. He really wanted to win. He's so upset that he isn't playing ball with the others. That does look fun, Buster. It's not just about winning, Buster. It's about having fun. Hooray! Now they're all having fun together. It's time to present the medals. Buster is third, Ash is second, and Scout is first! Well done, everyone! What a brilliant day! Look! There's Scout! And there's Buster! I think they're playing tag! What's Buster seen? Oh, wow! A maze! Scout is going inside! Go on, Buster! Try and find her! I wonder which way Scout went! There she is! Off they go, winding their way through the maze. Which way should Buster go now? This way. Oh look, a yellow flower. How nice. A few more turns and... Which way this time? This way. Wait a minute, it's that flower again. Buster's gone round in circles. Maybe if he backs up, he can find his way out? There's Scout. She looks lost, too. Whoa! Buster and Scout have found each other. Thank goodness. But now, they need to find the way out. Scout is balancing on Buster's roof. Maybe she can see a way out. There it is! Good job, Scout! They're speeding off towards the exit. But which way is it? Oh dear, they're still lost in the maze. Look, tire tracks. They can follow those all the way to the way out. Good thinking, Buster. There's that flower again. A little further and hooray! They made it out. Great teamwork, guys. <laughs> Look, it's Rita the sports car. She's speeding into the maze. Oh well, I guess Buster and Scout will have to help her find her way out. It's a bright sunny day at Construction HQ. Everyone is excited to start work. Today, they need to repair an old bridge that's collapsed in the middle. That'll be fun. The team arrive happily at the broken bridge. Wow, look at all the holes. But they need to get their planks at the far side to fix it. Where's Daisy going? Whoa! Mr. Rubble almost got knocked over the edge. Daisy can't get over the gap. But maybe she can reach the planks with a hook. Oh, nearly! Give it another go. Oh no! She's knocked it into the river. But at least Daisy tried. What are they going to do now? Diggly's got it. He's going to try and reach across. Watch out, the plank is collapsing. Phew, great save, Daisy. But how are they going to get across and get those planks? Wait a minute, I think Diggly has a plan. Watching Daisy's hook swing back and forth. 
Oh, they're going to swing Mr. Rubble over the gap. That's a long way down, and Mr. Rubble doesn't like heights. He's nervous, but Diggly and CJ are encouraging him. Go on, Mr. Rubble. Be brave. You can do it. Mr. Rubble is swinging. This isn't so bad. It's actually great fun. He's having a great time. He can grab the planks on that side and deliver them to the crew on the other side. Now, with a bit of cement to stick it, the bridge will be repaired in no time. There, all done. Good job, team. But look. Mr. Rubble is still swinging. He's having so much fun, he doesn't want to stop. It's a new day on the construction site. Oh dear, Bump is so slow. He's going to be late. Mr. Rubble doesn't like it when people are late. Today they're going to build a sand pit. How exciting! Diggly has dug the hole in no time at all. Oh dear, it takes Bump a long time to get anywhere. Now they just need to fill the hole with sand. But oh dear, Bump has to go all the way over there to get it. Bump looks very gloomy. Everyone is so much faster than him. But what's this? Diggly has an idea. Oh, he's making some changes to Bump's engine. Now Bump is so much faster. Whoa! Watch out, Mr. Rubble. Uh-oh. Bump is speeding around out of control. Look out for that pile of dirt. Oh dear. Poor Bump. He's just not designed to go fast. Diggly is going to change him back. Later on, Diggly and Daisy are trying to load the sand into the sand pits. But it's taking them forever. But wait. With his big scoop, Bump can do that in no time. He may not move fast, but he can move things faster than anyone else. Nice work, Bump. He's very useful just the way he is. Look, it's Bandit. He's coming over to visit Buster today. Bandit is so excited. I wonder why. Wow, what a cool dinosaur, Buster. And Bandit has one too. They're off to play at the park. They're having so much fun playing with their dinosaur toys. But wait, what's that? Could it be a dinosaur? <gasps> Buster and Bandit are using their imaginations to pretend they're on a dinosaur adventure. What was that? It's a T-Rex! Run! Go, go, go! <gasps> How will they get across? Quick, the dinosaur is coming! <gasps> Aha! Buster has his cowboy lasso! Go, Buster! But Bandit is a bit nervous! Come on, Bandit! You can do it! Bandit is facing his fears. Woo! Good job, Bandit! There's no way the T-Rex can reach them over here. Uh-oh. Or maybe it can! Look! They can hide behind that tree! Quick, Bandit! Wait a second. An egg? 
Oh, the T-Rex wasn't chasing them after all. It was looking for its egg. Oh no. It's heading towards that cliff. Quick, Buster. Phew. <laughs> the egg is safe now. The dinosaur is so grateful to Buster. <laughs> what a fun game. And it wasn't really a dinosaur. It was just Diggly, and he was looking for his ball. <laughs> Everyone loves playing dinosaurs. Roar! Roar! What a fantastic day playing at the park. What a bright, sunny day it is. Oh, look, it's Diggly and CJ. They're filling up CJ's mixer with water. <laughs> what are they both up to? Look, there's Buster and Scout. Phew, what a hot day. I wonder what they can do to cool down. Whoa, Diggly and CJ are making colorful water balloons. <gasps> Looks like Buster and Scout have got an idea. Ooh, a water balloon fight. Ready, set, off they go. What are Buster and Scout planning? Oh, look, Diggly and CJ are sneaking up behind them. And splash! Uh-oh, Scout has been hit. And bullseye! Now things are getting interesting. Who is that hiding in the bushes? It's Scout. But she managed to hide just in time. It's CJ's second chance. But look, here comes Buster. He splashes CJ from behind. Quit, Buster. Oh no, CJ and Diggly have Buster and Scout cornered. What are they going to do? Aha, an umbrella. I think Buster's got a plan. CJ and Diggly take aim. But Buster is keeping dry with the umbrella. Great idea, Buster. Uh-oh, Diggly and CJ are filling up again. Whoa, look at the size of that balloon. Looks like Buster is in trouble. Wow, nice shot, Buster. That was so much fun. It's Buster. Time to wake up! <laughs> it's a bright new day! <laughs> Look, Mommy has made Buster's breakfast already! Jam on toast! Buster's favorite! Ouch! Buster drove over that toy! It's okay, Mommy can kiss it all better! There! Now Buster can go out and play soccer. Ooh. How exciting. <laughs> now Buster is playing in the park with Scout. Nice one, Scout. But oh no, the soccer ball has gotten stuck in the tree. But look, Mommy has knocked the ball free again. Well done, Mommy. Now they can keep on playing. <laughs> What's this? Mommy and Buster are painting a picture. It's so much fun to paint together. Look, the sun has a face. <laughs> but oh dear, Buster is sleepy. It's been such a busy day. Time for Buster to go to bed now. First, Mommy reads Buster a bedtime story. Aw, good night, Buster. It was so much fun spending the day playing with Mommy. She really is the best. <laughs> Everyone is so excited for Christmas at the construction site, but there's still work to do. Today, they're building a pylon. 
But Mrs. Skip has plans for a Christmas tree. Wow! But Mr. Rubble says that there's no time for Christmas trees. They have work to do. Everyone is so disappointed. Soon, everyone is working hard on building the pylon. But what's Mrs. Skip up to? Oh, she started to make a Christmas tree in secret. But she needs a bit of help. Everyone is still hard at work. Oh, Diggly's telling Daisy about the secret Christmas tree. They're building it out of rubbish. It's a recycled Christmas tree. There's Bump and CJ. They can help too. Everyone's finding things they can recycle for the Christmas tree. Mr. Rubble wonders what everyone's up to. Some planks, green paint, the tree is really taking shape. Ornaments and a satellite disc for the star. Hooray! And the pylon is finished too. Good job, everyone. But Mr. Rubble wonders where everyone's got to. Yeah. Oh, he's found the secret tree. What's Mr. Rubble doing? Oh, he's helping. He's plugging in the lights. He's not angry. He's happy. Merry Christmas, everyone. What are the construction crew up to today? Whoa! A giant Easter egg! Everyone is hard at work preparing for the giant chocolate egg. Daisy and Mrs. Skip are mixing the perfect chocolatey blend. Good work, CJ. Time to fill the mould up with all that lovely chocolate. There's Buster. He's excited to dig into his own chocolate egg. Whoops! Watch out! Oh no! Where did Mr. Rubble go? Careful, Buster! <gasps> Mr. Rubble is trapped inside the giant chocolate egg. What's he going to do? The egg looks amazing. But what's making that noise inside the egg? It's Mr. Rubble, trying to get out! The giant egg has broken free. Watch out! Quick, guys, catch it if you can! Phew, good catch, CJ. Uh-oh, the egg is rolling out of control and it's making a huge mess. Watch out! Good swing, Daisy. Look out, here it comes! Mr. Rubble is free! Oh, but the chocolate egg is broken. CJ has an idea. They're mixing up some chocolate glue to put it back together. What a great idea! There, good as new. And Buster still got to have some chocolate. What an adventure! Buster, Ash and Mira are playing hide and seek tag in the soft play area. There's Buster hiding in the ball pit. Ash has found him. Now Ash is trying to tag Buster. Quick Buster, Ash is right behind you. Oops, looks like you found Mira. Tag, well done Ash, you got him. There's Daddy Bus. He says it's time to go. But Buster, Ash, and Amira don't want to leave yet. Looks like they have a plan. Run! And the game is on. Daddy Bus is trying to catch Buster, but Buster is too quick. Almost. Oh no! Daddy Bus has crashed into the ball pit. It's the perfect time to find somewhere to hide. Where should they go? Oh, uh -huh. Mira has found a place behind the play blocks. Huh? Hmm. 
Buster has seen a space behind the slide. But Ash is already there. Quick, Buster, quick! Daddy Bus is back on the hunt for them. Now where is Buster? There he is! But Daddy Bus hasn't seen him yet. Daddy Bus spots some wheels by the play blocks. Hmm, who could it be? It's Mira! Well found, Daddy Bus. Now where could the others be? What was that moving behind the slide? Boo! There's Ash! But where's Buster? There he is, hiding behind the tunnel. Looks like he has an idea to distract Daddy Bus. <gasps> What's that? A bouncy ball. Daddy Bus is going to investigate. Now Buster can find a new hiding spot. That's very sneaky. Maybe Buster can use that trampoline to help him hide. Hmm, Daddy Bus still can't find Buster anywhere. He's found a new hiding spot in the ball pit. Oh well, Daddy Bus, Ash, and Mira decide that it's time to go. Oh no, did they leave without Buster? Boo, we found you. That was very sneaky. Well done, guys. Now it's really time to go. What a fun day. It's a sunny day at Construction HQ. Look, Kitten is riding on Mr. Rubble's head. Today, they are demolishing an old factory. The crew are removing the bricks from the building, throwing them down the chute to be collected by Mrs. Skip. What's wrong? Oh dear, it's Kitten. They need to get her out of trouble. It could be dangerous. Aha, Diggly's got a plan. She can play with this ball of string. Yay, she loves her new toy. Now the crew can get back to work. Oops, she's tangled up in the ball of string. And now she's rolling around out of control. Watch out, Mr. Rubble. Oh dear. Quick, Daisy, Kitten is going to roll off the edge. Be careful, everyone. Oops. Mm. Now she's bouncing around. Great catch, Diggly. Oops. Oh no, she's heading for the chute. Quick. She's rolling down the chute. Diggly and Daisy couldn't get there in time. Here she comes. The wall has turned into a parachute. Quick, Mr. Rubble, catch her. Phew. She has landed safe and sound. Well done, Mr. Rubble. What a crazy day. Wow, it's a wonderful snowy day at Construction HQ. What are they building today? A gingerbread house? Mmm, tasty. Look at all that gingerbread. They're building the house at the top of that hill. Whoa, it's a long way up and a steep climb. Be careful, Bump. Oh no, a piece of gingerbread has snapped. But Mrs. Skip is collecting the pieces. I wonder why. They're at the top. It's time to build. Go team! Good job, Diggly and Daisy. Now CJ is gluing the walls together with icing sugar. Be careful, Daisy. That gingerbread breaks very easily. Uh-oh! CJ's to the rescue. Watch out, Mr. Rubble. 
Oh dear. Diggly is lifting the next piece. Oh no, not again. Be careful everyone. This is very tricky. The gingerbread keeps breaking. They're working as a team to glue the broken pieces back together. It worked! Wow! Look at that gingerbread house. That was great teamwork, everyone. It looks very tasty. Nope, Daisy. This gingerbread isn't for eating. But Mrs. Skip has made snacks out of the broken gingerbread pieces. Yippee! Now this gingerbread you can eat, Daisy. Yum, yum. Delicious. It's Buster's birthday. Mommy and Grandpa are setting up a very special party. Don't eat the food yet, Buster. You've got to wait until your guests arrive. Oh, look, here they are. It's Scout, Ash, and Bandit. Everyone's so excited for the party. What's Bandit up to? Hmm, that cake looks yummy. Not yet, Bandit. First, we're playing party games. They're playing musical statues. They have to dance until the music stops. Great move, Scout. And freeze. Oh no, Scout is losing balance. And so is Buster. They are out of the game. It's only Bandit and Ash left. And dance. Bandit is losing balance. Oh no, he knocked Ash over so he could win. And now Ash is out of the game. But Grandpa didn't see Bandit cheating. Hmm, that wasn't very nice, Bandit. Now they're playing past the parcel. They pass the present, and when the music stops, they can take off the wrapping paper. Hooray for Ash! <gasps> Bandit has cheated again! He took the parcel after the music stopped. Poor Ash! Bandit isn't playing very fair. Buster is telling Bandit that he's making Ash feel upset. He needs to think about how his actions affect the feelings of others. It's time for some birthday cake! Blow out the candles! Go, Buster! What a feast! All the delicious food has been eaten. Well, almost. Don't worry, Ash. Have some birthday cake. Bandit feels really bad for making Ash sad. Bandit is really sorry and gives Ash his ball back. It's okay, Bandit. Ash forgives you. But remember, it's not all about the winning. It's about having fun together. Buster's kindness saved the party. Happy birthday, Buster. It's a bright new morning, and Buster looks so excited. It's Diggly's birthday today. Buster can't wait to go to the party. Buster eats breakfast as quick as he can. Look, it's Scout. She's got Diggly's present ready and wrapped up. How exciting. Oh no, Buster accidentally ran over the present. It's flat as a pancake. Poor Buster. It was just an accident. But wait, I think Buster has an idea. Look, Scout's grabbing that old cardboard box. And Buster's grabbing that bowl of sweets. Huh? Huh? 
There's the wooden stick, too. <laughs> and the arts and crafts box. I wonder what they're up to. It's another present. <laughs> but what could be inside? Now Buster and Scout are speeding off to Diggly's party. They mustn't be late. Diggly is waiting. His party has already started. But phew, there's Scout and Buster. They made it. <laughs> Diggly's opening his present and... Whoa, it's a pinata. It's Diggly's birthday, so he gets to hit it with the stick. Off he goes. One more smack. Look at all those sweets. An amazing birthday present. I wonder what the construction club will learn today. Hey. Oh, I think Mr. Rubble is going to teach him how to make concrete. He's mixing cement, gravel, sand, and a little bit of water. Now they're mixing it up really well. And wow, it sets hard as rock. Now it's their turn. Let's do this. Everyone's helping with adding the ingredients and CJ is going to mix them together. One bag of cement, some gravel, some water. Oops, careful. Now all that's left is the sand. But that doesn't look like sand. Good mixing, CJ. Oh dear, that looks more like slime than cement. Whoa, let's try it again. One bag of cement, one of gravel, and one of sand. That's a lot of water, Diggly. Go, CJ, go! That looks better. Oh, but it's too splashy. Oh no, bad luck, Mr. Rubble. Third time lucky, sand, then cement, some gravel, and just a bit of water. Well done, everyone. Now mix, mix, mix. Look out, Mr. Rubble. Oh no, he's stuck. But wait, the concrete is perfect. Well done, crew. They earned their concrete mixing badges for making a perfect batch of concrete. But they might need to help Mr. Rubble out now. <laughs> hey, look, it's all the construction vehicles. Looks like they're repairing the road by Old McDonald's farm. See? Diggly and CJ are filling the pit with fresh concrete. Cool! Ooh. What is it, Diggly? Huh? Oh no! The barn is on fire! Oh. Off you! Here comes Ashley the fire truck! Wait! Ashley! Look out! The concrete is still wet! Oh no! Ashley's got stuck in the concrete! How will we put the fire out now? Oh. Johnny and Dozer are trying to get Ashley out. But be careful, guys. You'll get stuck too. Oh, no. The fire is still burning. What are we going to do? Wait a minute. I think Diggly has an idea. Wow. They're going to use all those pipes to form one long pipe. <laughs> then they're going to point it at the barn. And then go, Ashley! The water is travelling all the way down the pipe. There, the fire is put out. Way to go, Digley! Now Diggly is digging Ashley out of the concrete. Everything is safe and sound now. Good job, everyone. <laughs> the crew are arriving at Construction HQ. Mm. 
I wonder what's in store today. Uh -huh. Wow, they're painting a rainbow building. This is going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> Look at all those uh -huh. colourful paints. Uh -huh. Time to get started. It's purple first. Diggly and Daisy are on two platforms that are connected. Daisy is starting with red at the top. She's lowering down her platform. But oops, it's made Diggly go up. Hmm, that's not right. Diggly lowers his platform again. But that has lifted Daisy's up. Oh dear, this oh. isn't going to plan. Whoa! Uh, Watch oh. out, Mr. Rubble. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Mr. Mm. Rubble is covered in mm. paint. <laughs> Daisy looks determined to fix this. Up she goes, but that sends Diggly mm. down again. Yeah. Look out! Uh. Oh dear. <laughs> This is getting very messy. How are Diggly and Daisy going to fix this? Oh, Diggly has realised that they're both connected and they need to work together as a team. That's much better. Great job, guys! Wow, that building looks amazing! What a great day's work! Uh-oh! Look out for that paint, Mr. Rubble! Not again! Look, it's Diggly! I think he wants to lift that big girder! There's Johnny! He has no problem lifting heavy loads! He's tall and strong! But Diggly is only little! And that girder is very heavy. Mm. Oh, Diggly can't reach high enough. Poor Diggly. Here's Dozer. He wants to cheer Diggly up. Being big and strong isn't everything. Everybody has different things they're good at. There's no need to be upset. I think Diggly has a plan. He's got a barrel. And Dozer has a plank of wood. Now Diggly's up on the roof. Dozer's put a crate of bricks on the plank. Is it a seesaw? Oh, I see. It's a catapult. They can use it to bounce bricks up onto the roof. Very clever, Diggly. Johnny is still lifting the heavy bricks up onto the roof. But look, Diggly can bounce them up easily. He's using his brain to solve a problem. Look, now Daisy wants a turn. It's so much fun using Diggly's new invention. They'll have moved all the bricks in no time. Diggly may not be the strongest or the tallest, but he can be a very big help if he tries hard. Well done, Diggly. It's a fun snowy day at Construction HQ. I wonder what they're building today. An ice rink? Amazing! Here's the frozen pond. To turn it into a skating rink, they need to put up the soft safety barriers. Uh-oh, Bump's moving the snow, but he's not seen Mr. Rubble. Oops, Mr. Rubble is on the ice. His wheels can't grip. He's sliding. Quick, Diggly and Daisy can move the barrier so he doesn't crash. Phew. Nice work. But now Mr. Rubble is sliding towards the market stall. Mrs. Skip has to bounce him back. Good job, Mrs. Skip. Bounce, bounce. 
Mr. Rubble's going back and forth like a ping pong ball. But I think Diggly has a plan. They can bounce him into this pile of snow. Daisy's bouncing him towards the snow pile. Whoosh! Is Mr. Rubble okay? Ah, oh, there he is! Good job, everyone! <laughs> now the ice rink can be finished in no time. Diggly and Daisy are having fun skating on it. But what's this? Skates? Now Mr. Rubble can join in and skate too. Whoa, whoa there. He's got it. It's so much fun to go ice skating. Everyone is having fun at the Christmas market. There's Buster. He's having a candy apple. So yummy. Whoa, Mommy Bus has a present. Is that for Buster? It is. But Mommy says to wait until Christmas to open the present. Buster doesn't want to wait. He wants to open the present now. But he'll have to wait. Throw the ball to knock down the cans. That's Mommy's favorite game. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Buster's going to try to look at the present while Mommy is distracted. Buster shouldn't really be doing that. Hmm, what is inside? Here is Bandit. Oh, look out! Oh no, the present is flying off across the market. Quick, they have to get the present back before Mommy notices it's gone. The present is on the ice rink. Quick, Bandit, grab it! Oopsie! Buster will have to try and get it now. So close! Ah, so close! Mommy Bus still hasn't noticed the missing present. She's having so much fun! Oh, there's the present! Can Bandit and Buster get it back before Mommy notices? Ah, whoops! Where's the present gone now? Oh, look! The Wonder Wheel! It's Ash! And there's the present! Oh, no! He dropped it! Go, Buster! Great catch! Phew! Well done, Buster! Look! Mommy put all the cans down! Hooray! She won a teddy bear! They've got the present back just in time. Mommy is in such a good mood, she's going to let Buster look at the present, if he still wants to. But Buster has learned his lesson. He's going to wait. It's finally Christmas Day, and Buster can open the present at last. Whoa, it's a new soccer ball. <laughs> That's why it was so bouncy. Oh. Merry Christmas, Buster. Hey, it's Diggly. Time for a hard day's work on the construction site. But wait, what has Diggly seen? <gasps> oh, wow, a robot digger. I wonder what that's doing here. Johnny is going to turn the machine on. Oh, that's it. The robot looks ready to work. Now the construction vehicles are hard at work. Diggly is digging a trench, but now the robot digger is here to help. Look out, Diggly. The robot is digging very fast. Let's just stay out of its way. Look at the robot digger go. Dozer has to move fast to keep up. Whoa! The robot digger has finished its job already. 
Oh, poor Diggly. He feels useless now that the robot has done his job for him. What's this? A drip of water has hit the robot. I don't think the robot is waterproof. Oh no, it's going haywire. It's smashing up all the construction sites. Somebody needs to stop it. Diggly and Dozer are jumping into action. Dozer is holding the robot back. But he can't hold it forever. Quick, Diggly. Phew! The robot is up. Well done, Diggly and Dozer. You saved the day. But what can we do with the robot now? It's a very hot day today. Oh! Diggly has turned the robot digger into a robot fan. How very clever of him. Look, it's Buster the bus. But whoa, he sure looks sleepy. He's driving off the road. Oh no, Buster's ended up in the muddy puddle. And now he's stuck. Poor Buster, how will he get out? The next morning, Scout visits Buster's garage. But, oh dear, Buster is nowhere to be found. Where is he? But look, muddy tracks. Scout is following them to see where Buster is. There's Diggly the Digger. Scout tells him Buster's missing. They need to find him. Scout and Diggly search together. Look, a trail of sweets. Where could it lead? Whoa, what was that? Aw, phew, it's just Robin. Scout explains that Buster is missing, and Robin agrees to help search too. They'll have a better chance of finding him if they work together. Poor Buster is lonely and cold. Scout looks behind the trees. Diggly looks beside the rocks. What's Robin seen? Some more tire tracks. Look, there's Buster. He's stuck in the mud. He's been here so long. Robin goes to tell Diggly and Scout that he's found Whoa. Buster. He's just over the hill. There's poor Buster. <laughs> Diggly and Scout can help. Working together, Diggly and Scout pull Buster out of the muddy puddle. Huh? Now Buster is free at last. He's very grateful to his friends for rescuing him. Now he's back, safe and sound in his garage. Buster has arrived early for school today. There's Scout and Diggly. Whoops, Buster slipped on some oil. Oh dear, the blackboard is wrecked. Scout flipped too. Phew. Oh no, the clock is broken too. What a mess. And here comes the teacher. They'll need to clean everything up really quick. But the board is too heavy for Scout. And Diggly can't pick up the letters. Buster tries to fix the clock, but there are so many pieces. I think Buster has a plan. They can swap jobs. Scout can collect up all the letters. Then Diggly and Buster can lift the blackboard together. Scout knows her ABCs. She can put the letters back. Now for the clock. Diggly can fix that. He loves fixing machines. There, all done. Just in time. Here comes the teacher. Everything looks normal. Apart from that letter. And the time isn't right. And the number. One, two, three, four. Good as new. It's a very windy day. Construction HQ. 
I wonder what they'll be building today. Oh wow, the towpath for the canal. That looks amazing. To build a towpath, they'll need paving slabs. Here comes Rocky the riverboat to deliver them. Oh, it is windy today. Rocky loves to listen to music on his big headphones. There, now to unload the slabs. Gently there. Thanks, Rocky. Now the crew can get to work on the towpath. But the wind is picking up. Oh no! Mr. Rubble's hat. It's landed on the back of Rocky. Not to worry. Mrs. Skip can get it. She's even trying it on. Oh no! Rocky is sailing on. But he doesn't realise Mrs. Skip is still on the back. Come back, Rocky. He can't hear them because of his big headphones. What's Mrs. Skip going to do? She can't get carried off down the river. Who knows where she'll end up? They have to get Rocky's attention somehow. Watch where you're going, Mr. Rubble. Oops, Mr. Rubble hit a box. Diggly is racing ahead to try and stop Rocky. Maybe he can get his attention with this ball. Good thing Mrs. Skip has the helmet. Hmm, what's Daisy up to? She's brought the stack of slabs. I wonder what her plan is. She's hopping up on top. Hooray! She saved Mrs. Skip. She's back on dry land, safe and sound. For you. Later on and the towpath is almost finished. Rocky is drifting past again, still listening to his music. He never knew anything was wrong. It's a brand new day at Construction HQ. All the vehicles are excited to get to work. I wonder what they're building today. Whoa, a pancake shack. Oh dear. Diggly doesn't look his usual happy self. I wonder what's wrong. Oh no, Diggly is sick. He can't work today. He'll have to stay home. <laughs> Time to start work. The first thing to do is dig the foundations. But without Diggly, mm -hmm. how will they dig? Mm -hmm. oh. That's not working at all. Daisy can't dig the way Diggly does. Maybe this drill will help. Oops! Mother's going everywhere and Daisy can't keep the drill still. This isn't working either. Oh dear, oh dear. Mm. <gasps> Diggly is watching from HQ. He really wants to help, but he's still feeling sick. Here's Mrs. Skip with some medicine. That should help. Back on the building site. They still haven't dug the foundations. Oh dear. Splat! Wait, this plank of wood throws dirt into the air, like a spade. Maybe they can use this to dig the foundations. Yes, it works! Good work, Daisy. She's found a way to dig in her own way, in no time at all. There, the pancake shack is finished. Aww, Daisy has brought some pancakes to Diggly to make him feel better. What a good friend. Mmm, delicious. It's Construction HQ. What's in store today? Those flowers don't look very well. They need some water. Time to save those flowers. Daddy Bus is very worried about his flowers. Not to worry, the gang are here to help. Those flowers really need some water. But the sprinkler is broken. There is no water coming out. Hmm, what are they going to do? Aha! A water wheel! Maybe this can help somehow. When the water wheel moves, water comes out of the sprinkler. Keep it moving, Diggly! Ooh. 
Oopsie! <laughs> How do they keep the water wheel moving? Daisy is splashing the water. When the water moves, it pushes the wheel. Hooray! Look at all that water! Wait, what? The water has stopped moving. That big pink ball is blocking the slide and stopping the water coming down to move the water wheel. Daisy is going to push the ball down. Uh-oh, the ball is very bouncy. It's Diggly's turn. Go on, Diggly, you can do it. Daisy is helping. Almost there. Whee! It worked! They did it! The sprinkler is working again and the flowers are back to life! What brilliant work team! Time for a reward! Whee! Look at them go! Look, it's the construction crew and they're building a castle! Diggly is directing Daisy as she lifts a big heavy block and puts it in place. CJ squirts the cement and... Done! One, two, three, four, five blocks on one side and one, two on the other. They're going to need some more blocks. Go, go, Dozer! One, two, three blocks across the drawbridge. Good job, Dozer. Oh no, it's a scary shark. Oh. Whoops. One of the blocks has fallen into the water. Poor Dozer, it was just an accident. Now Daisy has to lift the blocks into place. One, two blocks are left. Ooh. They're really heavy. Careful, Daisy. Oops, they'll smash up! Oh no! Daisy's music got turned up really loud. She dropped the blocks! Phew! Diggly caught one of the blocks. But oh dear, the other smashed! How many are left? One, two, three, four, five on one side. One, two, three on the other. Oh dear, they don't match. But wait! I think Diggly has an idea. What's he up to? He's taking a block from the toddler tower. Five minus one is four. Now he's adding the block to the shorter tower. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. They match. Nice work, Diggly. Diggly is arriving at Construction HQ. The gang are about to find out what they're building today. Wow! Is that a racetrack? Now this is going to be fun. They are placing the winner's podium onto the course. What was that? Now it's complete. Mr Rubble wants them to test out the course. Daisy is so excited. She's very fast. On your marks, get set, go! They're approaching the first corner and Daisy's in the lead. She's zooming ahead. Watch out, Mr. Rubble. She flies across the ramp. Careful, Bump. Hmm, this ramp isn't as easy for everyone else. Diggly is a bit slower because he's got one track smaller than the other. Daisy doesn't think this race is fair. She spotted some bricks left over from the build. Aha! Looks like she's got an idea. Daisy wants Diggly to feel more included. Bump and Daisy have attached some bricks to their tracks to make the race more fun. Now Diggly doesn't have to feel left out. Go, go, go! Off they go around the corner. Wow! Everyone is equally fast. They're going up the ramp. Everyone is having so much fun. Around the bend. 
I wonder who's going to win? They're coming up to the finish line and Bump is the winner! Hooray! What a brilliant race! Well done everyone, that was great! Races are much more exciting when everyone is included. It's another sunny day at Construction HQ. I wonder what they're building today. Oh nice, a barn! This looks like a good spot to start building. First, they need to lay these planks down. Haha! Nice one, Bum. But what's this? A bunny? Oh no! They're building the barn all over the bunny's home. But I don't think the crew have noticed. The bunnies are definitely not happy. What are they going to do? This bunny has jumped up onto the bricks. What is she doing? She's trying to take one of the bricks. Oh, here comes Bump. I don't think he noticed the bunny. Now Daisy has put some pipes down. And that bunny has pushed them over. And now the bunny has taken that pipe. What are they up to? Now Diggly is laying out his tools. But one of the bunnies is moving his hammer. And now they're moving his screwdriver too. Diggly doesn't get it. Where did his tools go? The whole construction crew are very confused. How do things keep going missing? It's such a mystery. Wait! Now they know the bunnies are the ones moving everything. But why? Oh! They've moved everything into another field. They want the crew to build the barn over there instead, so it's not on top of their rabbit holes. Now Daisy gets it. Now the crew have moved all the building materials into the other field, just like the bunnies wanted. In no time at all, the barn is all finished, all good in the new field. The bunnies are so happy. Well done, team. It's time for the annual nature race, which Daddy Bus has organized. This is going to be so much fun! Ash and Buster are going to work together. They need to race through the woods as fast as they can. And the first one back gets the shiny trophy. Get set, go, go, go! Bandit has overtaken Buster and Ash. He really wants to win. What is he up to? <gasps> He's changed the sign! So Buster and Ash are going the wrong way! Oh no! <laughs> huh? There's no more path! This can't be right! And what's that? A huge tire print! Ash thinks it must be a monster! <laughs> nope, don't worry, Ash. Monsters aren't real. Uh-oh, I think they're lost, but they need to keep going. They're slowing down. Oh, dear, they're stuck in the mud. What are they going to do? <gasps> what is that? It sounds like a monster! Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Don't worry! It's just a monster truck! And they're very friendly! She's pulling Ash out of the mud! Wow, she's strong! And now it's Buster's turn! <laughs> this monster truck is called Mira! She's lost too! Just like them. Buster says they can work as a team. There's Naughty Bandit. He's almost at the finish line. But look, Buster and his friends are ahead. They ended up taking a shortcut. <laughs> Hooray! Mira won the race, but she couldn't have done it without her new friends. And she's won the trophy! Yippee! 
But Mira feels sad for Bandit being on his own. She knows what that feels like. Bandit feels bad for cheating in the big race. Don't worry, Bandit. There's no need to cheat when you have friends by your side. And it's always fun to make new friends. Buster the bus and Scout the car are playing soccer. Buster shoots. Goal! Well done, Buster. Great work. Whoa, it's a soccer bus. He plays for the big bus soccer team. He wants Buster to come try out for the team. But oh no, Buster is too shy. Scout encourages him and Buster says okay. He'll come to the big game tomorrow. Scout is very proud of her friend, but Buster is still nervous. That night, Buster is sleeping peacefully in his garage. Buster dreams he's playing on the big bus soccer team. The game starts, but oh dear, the buses play rough. Now it's Buster's turn in goal. He tries to save it, but oh dear, the soccer buses don't look very impressed. Poor Buster, he's tried so hard. Phew, it was just a bad dream. But now Buster's even more nervous about trying out for the team. Scout does her best to encourage him. Buster can do it. She believes in him. <laughs> now it's time for the big game. Robin blows his whistle and the game begins. Oh no, the red bus has been injured. They can't play anymore. Buster will have to step in. Go on, Buster, you can do it. Buster kicks the ball and the game goes on. Buster is going in goal now. The blue bus takes a shot and... Buster saved it! Well done, Buster! You did so well! Hooray! That was so much fun! Buster and Mommy are decorating the house for Halloween. But look, they still need a pumpkin. Looks like there are pumpkins for sale this way. Buster and Grandpa will go and fetch one. Whoa! So many pumpkins to choose from! Buster wants this big one. Now, Grandpa's going to carve a face into the pumpkin and turn it into a jack-o'-lantern. Eyes, a mouth, and a nose. But what's Buster seen? A sheet? Hmm. Oh, Buster pretended to be a ghost and scared Grandpa. But now the pumpkin is rolling away. Oh no, it's rolling towards the road. Phew, he just missed it. Quick, Buster and Grandpa are chasing after the runaway pumpkin. Buster's almost got it. Oops. There's Diggly building a wall. Oh dear, the pumpkin spooked him. Now it's rolling away again. No time to stop and play. They've got to keep chasing it. Poor Grandpa is out of breath. It's up to Buster to catch the pumpkin. Quick, it's heading for that pond. Buster's jumping for it. Well done, Buster. It rolled right into place outside the front door. Phew, that was lucky. <laughs> Mommy looks very pleased. Good job, Buster and Grandpa. <laughs> the construction crew are at the park. Look at all those rainbow colored flower beds. But it looks like some colors are missing. They need to plant the yellow and purple flowers to complete the rainbow. But wait! Hey. Mr. Rubble has a plan! Uh -huh. What's this? Hey. Hmm. Huh? A robot digger? <laughs> Mr. Rubble is really uh -huh. excited to test the robot. 
but Diggly and Daisy aren't so sure it's a good idea. Here we go, time to dig! Wow! Looks like it's working! But now Diggly and Daisy have nothing to do! What's Kitten up to? Oh no! She's taken the remote for the digger! Now the robot is out of control and he's making a mess everywhere! Diggly and Daisy have to do something! Diggly is trying to catch the robot, but it's not an easy job! Oh no! Almost Diggly! Daisy is trying to catch Kitten! Oops! Sorry Mr Rubble! The robot is making a huge mess! They need to stop it quickly! Quick Diggly, quick! Phew! Mr Rubble has grabbed Kitten from the tree! Nice work Daisy! And Diggly managed to catch the robot! Phew! That was a close one! The crew have cleaned up all the mess and they planted all the flowers! Great teamwork guys! They even found a new job for Robot Digger! Well done everyone! It's another sunny day at Construction HQ! I wonder what Mr Rubble has in store today! Wow! They're building a crazy golf course! They're almost done in no time! Diggly and Daisy are putting in the finishing touches! Great! The windmill is in place! Now it's time to test it out! Mr Rubble is going first! He's taking it very seriously! He hits the ball! It rolls over the hills! Loops the loop! Goes round the roundabout! Through the pipe! And... Hang on! Where is the ball gone? Aha! There it is! That's not right! It's gone off the course! Diggly hits the ball back up the chute! He's plugging the pipe with a cork to stop it from happening again! Very clever, Diggly! But where's it gone? Ouch! Watch out, Mr Rubble! Mr Rubble hits the ball around the bend! Now the windmill! But it's spinning way too fast! Watch out everyone! Hmm, maybe they should change the speed of the windmill. There, that's better! Mr Rubble tries again! And it's straight through and in the hole! Nice work Mr Rubble! It's Diggly's turn! The ball goes over the hills, loops the loop, round the roundabout, through the pipe, under the windmill. Wow! It's a hole in one! Now it's Daisy's turn. Whoa! Slow down, Daisy! The ball bounces off the rock and hits Mr. Rubble. It bounces off the windmill and it lands in the hole. Hooray for Daisy! It's a boiling hot day at Construction HQ and the gang are very hot and bothered. But there's no time to rest. They've got a busy day ahead. What's Daisy spotted outside? Oh no! It's a fire! And it set off the fire alarm! Here comes Ashley the fire truck. Can she put the fire out? Sure she can! Phew! Hooray for Ashley! And off she goes to help some more people across town! Bye Ashley! Thank you! Oh no! Another fire started! And there goes the alarm! It's even bigger this time! Where's Ashley the fire truck? Oh no! Don't worry, Diggly has a plan! He's filling up his digger with water! He's trying to put out the fire! Good idea, Diggly! 
<laughs> Mr. Rubble wants to help too. Whoops, be careful, CJ. CJ has loaded up her cement mixer with water. Watch your water on the floor, Mr. Rubble. Whoops. Oh no, the fire is spreading towards the building. What are they going to do? Daisy's got a plan. She knocked the tower into the wood and stopped the fire spreading. Hooray for Daisy! Splash! The fire is all gone. And here's Ashley. Don't worry, Ashley. The fire is out. Even if they did make a bit of a mess. It's a sunny day in the park and everyone is having a great time playing together. Look, Buster has a skipping rope. Ready, Buster? That's it. Hop over the rope. Phew, that was tiring. What a great day. And now it's time to go home. But uh-oh, that's an awful lot of mess they've left behind. Buster doesn't want to clean up. But look, Scout and Diggly are stopping him. They can't leave all this behind without cleaning up. It won't take long to clean up. It could even be fun. Scout's grabbing the skipping rope to show how easy it is. All the toys need to go back into the toy box. <laughs> Bouncing the soccer ball between them. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Diggly's collecting up all the small toys. Passing the toy box between them. This is almost like a game. <laughs> Next, the cone. Look, Scout's catching them on her bonnet. Now Buster is collapsing the goal. Nice work! Everything is back in the toy box. You're all done! That wasn't so hard. Oops, Buster nudged the toy box and now it's rolling off down the hill. Buster, Scout, and Diggly are all chasing after it as fast as they can. The toy box is tumbling off the road. Oh no, it's fallen over and all the toys have spilled out. After all that hard work. What's Scout up to? <laughs> She's right. They can have just as much fun cleaning it up all over again. Everything will be cleaned up again in no time. There. Well done, everyone. It's Christmas time at Construction HQ and everyone is really excited. But first they have work to do. They need to build a present wrapping machine. The presents go in here and come out here. But wait. They're building this for Santa. Diggly and Daisy are so excited. They might even get to meet Santa. Wow, in no time at all, the present wrapping machine is almost finished. Now it's time to test it. Diggly pulls the lever. Mr. Rubble puts the toy on the conveyor belt. And out it comes all wrapped up. Pop! Oops, uh-oh. Now the machine is running backwards. Oh dear, oh dear. Diggly's trying to turn the machine off. Oh no, now it's running faster. It's sucking the toys up. Oh no! It sucks Mr. Rubble up! Diggly and Daisy are trying to stop it. But they're not working together. Mr. Rubble's wrapped up like a present! But who's this? It's Santa! He can fix this mess. Santa snaps his fingers and... Phew, the machine is fixed. There's Mr. Rubble. He's still wrapped up. Phew, that's much better. Dickley and Daisy are sorry the machine went wrong. But it's okay. Santa knows just how to cheer them up. Whoa, a present eats for Dickley and Daisy. Amazing. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. It's a beautiful sunny day at the beach. Uh. The construction crew are on holiday. Yippee! 
Diggly and Daisy are playing tag. What's that? It's seaweed. And it's given Diggly a great idea. They've collected some materials. What are they planning to build? Aha! A beach hut! What a great idea! It's almost complete. But it is missing a roof. Not to worry. Daisy has found a large sheet of metal they can use. Whoa! Steady, Daisy. It's quite tricky to carry. Watch out! Slow down, Daisy! Be careful! Oh no! Daisy is hurt! Amber the ambulance is here to check that Daisy's okay. That was quite a bump. Phew! She's okay. That's much better. They still need to add the roof on. But now Daisy is a bit scared. Diggly isn't strong enough to carry it. But if they work together, they can do it. Hooray! Watch out for the seaweed. Daisy didn't give up. And now they've done it. Well done, Daisy. <laughs> Mr. Rubble and Mrs. Skip are enjoying the shade. <laughs> Today the construction crew are going to build a canal. That will be great fun. First they need to dig a trench for the water. Bump and CJ want to help. But looks like Diggly and Daisy have it covered. <gasps> Maybe they don't need Bump and CJ. <sighs> In no time at all, the trench is dug. Good job, everyone. Daisy's ready. And smash. Here comes the water. It'll reach Diggly and Mr. Rubble any second. Any second. Where is it? There must be a blockage somewhere. Diggly's taking a look. Look, it's spilling out over there. Quick, Daisy needs to fix it. Oh dear, how will they plug this gap? CJ, of course. She can use her cement to fix the leak. Good job, everyone. But now look. That rock is blocking the canal. That rock is too heavy for Daisy to move. But here comes Bump. He can move that. Hooray! Good work. There. At last, the water has filled up the canal. <laughs> they couldn't have done it without CJ and Bump's help. Good teamwork. Buster, Bandit and Scout are having a sleepover. But they're still wide awake. They're having a great time staying up. They're too excited to go to sleep. <gasps> Who's that? It's Grandpa Bus. He says it's getting late. It's time to go to bed. They can't play games and be up all night. Hmm, maybe this night light will help them get to sleep. Wow, look at those stars. Buster loves stars. 
He wonders what it would be like to be a space rocket flying fast through them. Oh, look! It's Space Rocket Buster! Buster and his friends are using their imagination. They're flying through space! Check it out! There's Earth! They're going to race to it. Ready, steady, go! Buster is in the lead. Oh no! Bandit knocked him off course! Aw, oh, now Buster's far behind! How can he zoom back ahead? Aha! Whoa! Buster is spinning around Saturn! Now he's going really fast! What a clever idea! He's overtaking Bandit and Scout! Hmm, what's Bandit up to now? <laughs> Careful! Meteors! Bandit is throwing them at Buster and Scout! Hmm, they have to stop him! They're throwing an even bigger meteor back at Bandit! That'll teach him! And the race is back on! Buster and Scout are neck and neck! Nearly there! Space Rocket Buster wins the race! Way to go! Uh-oh! Busted! Again! Grandpa heard them playing! That was a lot of fun! But now it really is time to go to bed! Good night, everyone! It's a snowy day at the construction site! Look! Diggly and Daisy are having a snowball fight! Oh no! They almost hit Mr. Rubble! And he looks angry! But he was only joking! I wonder what they're building today! A snowman? That's going to be so fun! Wait a second! Oh! It's a giant snowman! Wow! It's going to be huge! Everyone's working together to make giant snowballs for the snowman! Here they come! It's time to assemble! Wow! That was close! Miss Skip is working on the head! Look! There's the mouth! Diggly also bought some things! A traffic cone for the nose and some old tyres for eyes! Nice teamwork! There! It's finished! Oh no! Mr. Rubble slipped! Careful! The snowman is about to fall! Watch out! Quick, Mr. Rubble! It's catching Diggly too! Phew! That was a close one! Oh no! It caught Mr. Rubble! Careful! Poor Mr. Rubble! His giant snowman is ruined! But Diggly and Daisy won't give up that easy! They'll build another one! Everyone is working together to build the snowman as good as new! Yay! It didn't fall this time! Amazing work, everyone! Not giving up always pays off in the end! It's a bright sunny day at the construction HQ! Aww, Bump hasn't quite woken up yet! He doesn't like mornings! Here are today's plans! They're going to build a pond! How exciting! This will be so much fun! First, it's up to Diggly to dig the hole. Good job, Diggly! Next, Bump pushes the dirt away and Daisy puts some stones around the edge of the pond. Great! Now all that's left is to fill it up with water. Better get out of the way, Diggly! Bump's turned on the tap and the water runs through the hose. Hmm, Daisy doesn't like that stone. Oh no, the stone landed on the hose. 
Now the water can't get through. <gasps> Quick! Oh. They need to do something. Oh. Daisy's got an idea. She's going to hit the stone. Splash! Uh oh. Oh. Now the hose has sprung a leak. The water is spraying everywhere. But Mrs. Skip knows what to do. They can use a band-aid to stick the hole shut. There. Good job, everyone. Now the water can flow again. Mr. Rubble wonders where the water's got to. Oops. Mr. Rubble has ended up in the pond. But that's okay. He thinks it's funny too. Splash! Great work, guys! Daddy Bus and Buster are visiting the river today. What are they going to get up to? Oh, boats! How exciting! Buster wants to ride the boat. But wait! Not yet. First, Daddy Bus wants to teach Buster how to tie a strong knot so the boat doesn't float away. Daddy Bus has tied a great knot. Now it's Buster's turn. Aw, nearly there. That's okay, Buster. Tying strong knots is really hard. Daddy Bus is going to show Buster how to do it again. But Buster isn't very interested in tying knots. Hmm, the boat is right there. And Daddy is concentrating very hard on his knot. Buster's off. <laughs> this is much more fun. Oh no, the boat wasn't tied to the dock. The river is carrying Buster away. Buster's trying to paddle back, but he can't seem to steer. Daddy Bus to the rescue. Uh-oh, that boat has a leak. He needs to find another way. Buster is floating even further down the river. Careful, Daddy Bus. What's Buster going to do? Oh, there's a bridge. Buster's grabbing on. Phew. Oh no, the pole broke off. Daddy Bus just missed him. Look out! Uh oh, Buster has spotted rocks ahead. But he can use the wooden pole to steer away from them. It's working! Good thinking, Buster. Oh no, the pole snapped! And look, a waterfall ahead! What's Daddy pointing to? A rope! Perfect! The waterfall isn't far away now. You can do it! Go, Buster! Nice throw! Daddy Bus is pulling Buster back to the shore. Nearly there. Just a bit further. Phew! Back on dry land. Now Buster and Daddy are fishing instead. That's much more relaxing. It's almost Christmas and the construction crew are building the Christmas market. There is so much to do, everyone is really busy. What's that, Mr. Rubble? Is that a brand new entrance built out of coloured blocks for the market? Amazing! Here comes Bump with the blocks. Wow, they look heavy. What's Stigley doing? He can't get it to stay still. Bump is going to help him. Teamwork is the key. Wow! That big hit made everything shake. Oh no! The blocks are rolling away. Now the wagon is stuck on the frozen pond. What are they going to do? What's that sound? Oh no! The blocks fell through the ice and sank into the pond. How will they build the arch now? Poor Mr. Rubble. Daisy seems to have an idea. Hmm. 
is she up to? Whoa! Daisy made a block out of ice! What an amazing idea! They can use the ice blocks to build the arch! Daisy is getting them out of the pond and Diggly is making the arch! Last few for CJ to move! There! They made it! Here comes Mr Rubble! Yay! He looks so happy! Well done everyone! Hooray! It's time for the big race! Diggly, Scout and Buster are going to race to see who wins the cup! Oh, Bandit is racing too! Ready, steady, go! And they're off! Buster's driving as fast as he can, and his wheels are going round and round. Bandit's in the lead, but Buster is passing him. Hooray! Buster's in the lead! Everyone is driving really fast! Look out! Scout is speeding ahead! Scout's taking the lead! Uh-oh! A low bridge! Little Scout can fit under, but everyone else will have to go around. Buster and Diggly have reached a river. How will they cross? Nice! Diggly made a bridge! It was a shortcut. Now they've caught up with Scout. There's Bandit. Oh no! That's an oil barrel spilling all over the road. Scout and Diggly are sliding on the oil. What a cheater! But Buster is still racing. He's catching Bandit. Bandit's skidding. He ended up in that pond. Serves him right. There's the finish line. Buster speeding ahead. Hooray! Buster won! And as his prize, he can have a nice tasty ice cream. And of course, the winner's cup. It's a really sunny day at Construction HQ. All the crew are having fun playing with a beach ball. Ha! Nice one, Mr. Rubble. Now today, they're putting up some traffic lights. In no time at all, they're nearly done. Daisy's just putting the last traffic light up. And now Diggly has to plug them in. There! The lights are all turning on. Oh, they've gone out. Back at HQ, Mr. Rubble's playing with the ball. What's happening to the lights? Now Mr. Rubble is stuck in the dark. Hmm, the power has all gone. That's very strange. Here's the electricity cable. It looks okay. I wonder where it leads. Diggly's going to follow it. Mr. Rubble is still stuck in the dark. Diggly and Daisy are following the cable all through the construction site. Oops! It's leading them right through this muddy puddle. Yuck! And even under this archway. Look out, Daisy! But where does it lead? Look! An electricity generator! Look at all that smoke! It must have broken down! That's why the power cut out! How will they get electricity now? Wait! I think Daisy has a plan! The sun! They can use solar panels to make power from the sunshine! Very clever, guys! Daisy puts the last one in place. With all those panels, they should have lots of power. <laughs> CJ's trying the switch. Hooray! Ah. The lights are back on. It worked. Good job. Oh, Mr. Rubble has got into a real mess while he was stuck in the dark. The whole construction crew are getting ready for today's job. <laughs> They're building that crumbly old building. That can't be right. Oh, they're demolishing the building. Daisy is so excited. Soon enough, it's time to get to work. The building looks like it could fall down any moment. 
It'll be safer to knock it down. Uh. Everyone is ready to get started. But wait! Stop everyone! There's a little kitten beside it. Oh no! The kitten could get hurt if they knock it down now. Phew! Diggly stopped them just in time. They need to get the kitten out of harm's way. She's so cute. Ooh! I think Mr. Rubble's afraid of cats. The kitten ran back inside. Oh dear! They can't knock down the building with the kitten inside. Diggly's trying to get her to come out with some milk. Daisy wants to pet the kitten, but Diggly thinks that will frighten her. Oh no, Daisy accidentally hit the building. I think it's going to collapse, but the cat is still inside. What will they do? Maybe Mr. Rubble can help, but he'll have to face his fear of cats. <gasps> Mr. Rubble is small enough to fit inside. Phew, Mr. Rubble saved the kitten. And just in time, that was a close one. Mr. Rubble was very brave to rescue the kitten. I think he's got over his fear of cats now. He's made a friend. The construction club are going on a trip to the fire station. They're going to make some changes to it. This is how it looks now. And this is how it's going to look after. It's going to be fantastic. First, Daisy is going to help knock the old building down. Nice swing, Daisy. There we go. Good as new. Now, they just need to check everything works, so it's ready for a real emergency. First, let's test the fire alarm. Oops, that's not the right noise. And that's very loud. Mr. Rubble wants him to turn it off. Phew, well at least it's working. Next, they need to test the fire station doors. Looks like they shut perfectly. But oh no, the door isn't opening again. It's stuck. Meanwhile, Diggly is going to test the fire hose. Hooray, that works really well. Uh oh, the tap isn't turning off. And the station is flooding! Careful, Daisy! Diggly is still trapped inside. What are Daisy and Mr. Rubble going to do now? The water is still rising. This better work. It worked! Out comes all the water. Ashley has turned off the tap. And I think she likes her new home. Mission accomplished. Nice work, team. It's another day at Construction HQ. I wonder what's in store today. They're building a tall office block. Wow, that's big. Let's get to work. Hang on. Where's CJ? She's hiding behind that box. I hope she is okay. But Mr. Rubble is getting impatient. Time to get to work. Things are moving very quickly at the construction site. Diggly and Bump are putting up these big concrete blocks. Great teamwork, guys. Oh, look, a kitten has come to say hello. Hello, kitten. Uh-oh, Mr. Rubble is worried that Daisy's wrecking ball could knock the whole thing down. Phew, that was a close one. Daisy has spotted CJ hiding behind some barrels. Poor CJ. I wonder what's wrong. Oh, CJ is missing a tooth. That is why she was hiding. It's okay, CJ. No need to worry. Mr. Rubble, be careful. Oh no. He stumbled into a concrete block. And now they're all falling down. Like dominoes. Oh no! Kitten! Watch out! 
She's too busy playing and hasn't noticed. Quick! CJ has a plan. She shoots out some cement and sticks the last block in place. But will it work? It stopped the blocks from falling. Hooray! CJ has saved the day. Well done, CJ. And look, they finished constructing the office block. They couldn't have done it without you, CJ. <laughs> Diggly and Daisy are finishing up the gingerbread house on top of the big hill. Hmm, I wonder what Diggly is up to. Oops, that was close, Daisy. There's Mr. Rubble, all the way down at the bottom of the hill. He's putting up a sign to show the way to the gingerbread house. But where's Diggly gone? Oh, he has made a welcome sign for the gingerbread house. Nice work. It looks great. Daisy loves it. Uh-oh, Daisy knocked the boulder down the hill and it's turning into a giant snowball. It's heading straight for Mr. Rubble and he hasn't noticed. What are they going to do? Daisy has an idea. Whoa! They're using Diggly's sign as a sled and now they're racing down the hill. Watch out for that tree! Good steering, Diggly. That was a close one. Looks like Mr. Rubble still has no idea. Keep going, guys. You're nearly there. Watch out! Oh no! They've tripped over that rock. How will they catch up with the snowball now? Diggly is determined to keep going. Oh no, the snowball is getting closer. Quick guys, there's no time to lose. Daisy has spotted something ahead, a snowbank. Look at them fly. Now they're ahead of the snowball. They can use the sign as a ramp. It worked. Brilliant idea, guys. Phew. Diggly and Daisy saved the day, just in time. And Mr. Rubble didn't even notice anything was wrong. Great work, team. It's a new day at the construction site. I wonder what they'll build today. Ooh, Mr. Rubble says they're going to build a car wash. Amazing. Everyone's working as a team to build the car wash. Now they just need to add soap. Oh dear, that barrel doesn't look like soap. But Bump hasn't noticed. Here's Mr. Rubble to take a look. Oh dear, he's all dirty. Not to worry, he can get all clean in the new car wash. Uh, oh dear, something's gone wrong. It turned Mr. Rubble green. I don't think he's noticed. They can't let him look in the mirror. Diggly's investigating. There's the problem. Bump put paint in the car wash, not soap. They'll need to paint Mr. Rubble back to the right colour. Splosh! Daisy splashed Mr. Rubble with mud. Now he'll need to use the car wash again. In Mr. Rubble goes. Oh no, now Mr. Rubble is blue. Quick, they need to stop him before he looks in the mirror. Splash, nice work Daisy. Now he needs to use the car wash again. Diggly's putting in another paint can. I hope this is the right colour. Into the car wash Mr. Rubble goes. Phew, he's back to his normal colour at last and squeaky clean too. Thank goodness. Looking good, Mr. Rubble. Good job, everyone. Look, it's the town zoo. And there's Bandit Bus. What's he up to this time? Oh no, he's unlocking the zoo doors. And now he's opening them. The zoo animals might escape. Oh dear, that baby lion has just got out. 
Hey, it's Diggly and Daisy, driving along oh. the road. And there's Tony the truck. Hi, Tony. They've all got work to do. Tony's on his way to deliver some boxes. Look, the baby lion. Tony is scared. He's running away. Oh. Diggly and Daisy wonder what he's running from. Hmm. Oh. The baby lion is still there. Diggly and Daisy are frightened. Mm. Lions can be dangerous. Oh. But they can't just leave him to roam free. He needs to go back to the zoo. I think Ooh. Diggly has a plan. Look, a toy mouse on a string. The baby lion is chasing it. He'll follow it anywhere. Oh, I see. Diggly and Daisy are pulling the string. They're going to use it to lead the baby lion all the way back to the zoo. Oh. Oops. Daisy's knocked the sign. Now they don't know which way the zoo is. Maybe it's this way? Oh, dear. They've gone round in a circle. Well, maybe it's this way. Oh. Maybe not. Hmm. Oh no! The baby lion has caught up! But wait, he doesn't seem so scary. He just wants to play. <laughs> there, the baby lion is back at the zoo safe and sound. Good job, Diggly and Daisy. What are the crew working on today? <laughs> They're fixing up a school soccer field. Yippee! It's looking a bit overgrown and the goals are falling apart. Time to get to work. Bump is laying new grass and CJ's painting fresh white lines whilst Diggly and Daisy are fixing the goals. Great teamwork, gang. And it looks good as new. Time to test it out. Mr Rubble is referee and it's boys versus girls. Let's play. Diggly kicks to Bump and Bump charges for the goal. Whoa, steady there Bump. That was a very big kick. Whoa, Bump really wants to win. Daisy passes to CJ. But Bump tackles CJ to the ground. Oh dear. That wasn't very nice, Bump. He should have been more friendly. Mr. Rubble is given Bump a yellow card. He doesn't look very happy. Diggly is in goal. But Bump pushes Diggly out the way. Poor Diggly. CJ scores. <gasps> Hooray! It's okay, Bump. It's just a game. Diggly passes to Bump. And Bump is about to charge. But Bump realises he's been too rough and he needs to be kinder. Bump passes and Diggly scores. See? Everything is much better when you play nicely together. It's a summery day at Construction HQ. What's happening? Mr. Rubble seems very nervous. They're off on holiday to the beach. Hooray! Mr. Rubble was just tricking them. Diggly is building a sandcastle. Whoa! Daisy's sandcastle is huge. Diggly wishes his sandcastle was that big. Mr. Rubble is happily sunbathing. Oops! Who was that? It's Buster and Scout. They're on holiday too. Diggly is finishing off his new sandcastle. That's great, Diggly. Daisy asked Buster to help her build an even bigger one. Look out, Mrs. Skip. Oops. Wow. Look at that. Their castle even has a moat. Diggly and Scout think they can do better. 
Wow! That's amazing! Hang on a second. Looks like the tide is coming in. It could ruin their sand castles. Quick everyone, they need to work together to build a wall. Mr Rubble is fast asleep. <gasps> the tide! Quick! Oh no! Mrs Skip! Watch out! Phew! They're okay! What an eventful day at the beach! Today, Mr Rubble has an exciting plan for the crew. Hang on. That's not the right plan. Aha! Uh -huh. There it is. They're building a park. The crew are ready to get started. First, they need to knock down the old building. That's an easy task for Daisy. She's nearly finished knocking it down. Huh? What's that? Little frogs? Where did you come from? This park is their home. The crew can't build here. Where would the frogs live? Don't worry, gang. Bump has an idea. He's distracting Mr Rubble. While Diggly and Daisy make some changes to Mr Rubble's plan. They're building a new home for these five little frogs. Sorry, Mr. Rubble. First, Diggly is cleaning up the pond, making it nice and clean. The frogs look very happy about this. Next, they've got to lay some fresh grass. Whoa! Great teamwork, guys! Oh no! Mr. Rubble has realised their plan to add a pond. He's not happy. Well, well, well. He likes the changes after all. The park looks amazing. And the frogs love it. What a beautiful new home for some very cheeky little frogs. Are out on the road today Fixing traffic lights Working hard to get it right It fits with a swing One diggly plug it in Oh no, something's wrong The lights are out, the power's gone <laughs> Daisy are out on the road today Fixing traffic lights Working hard to get it right Take a look behind Then we'll see what you can find Ah, yes, now you see No time to waste, follow that lead! And Daisy working on the road today, fixing traffic lights, working hard to get it right. Watch out, sparks and smoke. The big generator's broke. Fix it if you can, but Daisy has a different plan. Use light from the sun Solar power is the one Now the job is done CJ, you can turn them on Dig, Lee and Daisy Are out on the road today Fixing traffic lights Working hard to get it right
It's a winter's day at the construction HQ and all the crew are excited to get to work. Oh, today they're building a windmill. Hooray! But, oh dear, those dark clouds don't look good. They'd better get to work fast. In no time at all, the windmill is almost finished. Now the sails are on too. Now to test it. But wait, it's snowing. It's snowing a lot. Oh dear, Mr Rubble says they need to go inside or they'll catch colds. Diggly wants to play in the snow, but he has to go inside. The next morning, everyone is ready to get back to work. Oh look, there's so much snow outside. Oops, I don't think that'll work, Mr Rubble. Diggly can dig a path through the snow. There, now they need to reach the windmill. Almost there. There, but the button is frozen up. This looks like a job for Daisy. There, no problem. Whoa! The windmill is blowing all the snow away. Great work, everyone. Now they have time to play. They can all slide down the snow drifts. Hooray! It's a bright new day at Construction HQ. Diggly and Daisy are so excited to see what they'll build today. Oh, wow! A Ferris wheel! This will be so much fun! Now they're at the fairground. The wheel is almost ready. Daisy is just lifting it up. Boing! There, it's finished. But who's going to take a ride in it first? Hooray! Diggly is having a go. Daisy throws the switch and up Diggly goes. But uh oh, something is wrong. Oh dear, the wheel stopped. Diggly is stuck at the top. There must be a way to get him down. Daisy has an idea. Whoosh! A pillow to jump on. I don't think that's going to work. Daisy will have to think of something else. She's off again. Whoosh! Look, now Daisy is trying to pull the wheel round, but it's no good. It's stuck tight. But now she has another idea. Blocks? I wonder what Daisy is up to. Whoa! She's built steps all the way up to Diggly. Here's Mrs. Skip. Oh wow, she's got a ramp to put on top of the blocks. They can turn it into a giant slide. Whee! That was so much fun. Diggly is fixing the wheel controls. Good as new, the Ferris wheel is ready. But look, Diggly and Daisy just want to use it to slide down the slide. It looks like so much fun. They haven't just built one fairground ride, they've built two. It's Dozer, CJ and Diggly. <laughs> Looks like they've just finished building a brand new house. Good work guys, but something's not right. Something is still missing. Of course, they need to colour the house in with paints. And that big paint mixing machine. Red first, Diggly is off. He's mixing the paint in the mixer. Ah. CJ is collecting it in her drum. She's giving the red paint to Diggly. And bingo, the roof is red. Well done, guys. 
<laughs> Next up is blue. We have to mix it up. CJ collects the paint, gives it to Diggly and... <laughs> There we go. The windows are blue. Nice work, Diggly. Which colour next? Yellow. Uh-oh. Diggly accidentally knocked the green paint over. That's not good. Diggly's mixing the yellow paint. He's painting the door yellow. But I don't think he realises the green paint is spilled. All gone. How will they finish painting now? Wait a minute. When the blue and yellow paints mix, it makes green. So if they take the yellow and blue paint cans and put them both in the mixer... There! Green paint! Nice work! Now you can finish painting the house. There! Green walls! The house is finished. Well done, Diggly Dozer and CJ. It's the construction crew. They're finishing their work on a new tunnel. Oh, uh -oh. what's that sound? There's been a huge explosion down the mountain. Look, huge rolling snowballs. It's an avalanche. CJ tells the other workers to get inside the tunnel for safety. Dozer pushes Johnny in, there's no time to waste. Diggly rushes to Daisy and tells her to get into the tunnel. The two get in just in time and the snow crashes down behind them. It's really dark in the tunnel. Diggly grabs a lantern and goes to investigate the snowed in entrance. It looks too thick to dig through. Even Johnny can't dig through it. Diggly starts investigating the rest of the tunnel. He can spot something up ahead. There are some train carriages on the tracks. The tracks lead deeper into the tunnel. Diggly thinks that they can get on the train and escape out the other end of the tunnel. The construction crew have all jumped on the train. Dozer is nervous to be at the front. Johnny gives them a push and they're off! Whoa! It's like a giant roller coaster! Look at them go! Whoosh! This looks like fun! Uh oh! There is a snow blockage that they're going to crash into! Construction crew burst through the snow. They're outside and safe. Good job, Diggly and Dozer. It's Diggly and Daisy doing some work on the farm. Uh-oh, clumsy Daisy has knocked over a bit of fence. It's Pablo Pig. Cheeky Pablo. He's going to escape the farm. Quick, catch him before he gets away. Go on, Diggly, you can do it. Look, Carlos the calf is sneaking out too. Behind you, Daisy. He's running. Hurry after that calf. Now Pablo's balancing on the fence. Ouch. Belly flop. Now he's off again. Whoa, spinning round so much has made Daisy dizzy. Oh no, now Dylan the duck is coming out. You've got to stop them, Daisy. Look out, Daisy. Ducks can swim, but you... Oh dear, those farm animals are really pesky. Pablo Pig is running into the wheat field. He must be hiding in here somewhere. There he is. And there's Letty Lamb too. After them, Diggly. Well done, Diggly. You caught Letty Lamb. Three more to go. That's still in the duck. And Carlos the calf too. Nice work, Daisy. 
Now you've caught Pablo too. All the animals are back safe and sound. Well done, Diggly and Daisy. With that fence repaired, they won't escape again. It's the construction crew. Hard at work building the foundations for a brand new building. Uh-oh, I think it's going to rain. I don't like the look of those storm clouds. Time to get cover. Wait, there's Scout. Watch out, Scout. She's skidding. Careful, Daisy. Oh dear, oh dear. Daisy accidentally hit the girders. Look out, everyone. The whole thing is falling down. Oh no. Scout is trapped down that pit with the girders on top. You have to get her out quick, guys, before the rainwater fills the pit up. I think Diggly is going to move the girders first. Wait, careful. Those girders could fall on top of Scout. That was a close one. I think CJ the cement mixer has an idea. Oh, I see. If we use cement to stick all the girders together, we can drag them out in one go. Clever. Go on, Dozer. Drag those heavy girders out of the way. Great. Now the girders are gone. It's up to Diggly and Johnny to dig Scout a way out. Hurry up, guys. The water is getting deeper. You can do it. Diggly and Johnny are digging as fast as they can. Almost there. There, you did it. <laughs> Scout can drive out now. Well done, Diggly and Johnny. You saved the day in the nick of time. And look now, the sun is coming out again. Good job, everyone. See you again next time. What are the construction crew up to today? An obstacle course? That looks like so much fun. Diggly is digging a hole. And it looks like Bump is putting a ramp in place. The crew are all lined up and ready to test it out. The first one to get to the finish line gets that shiny trophy. Ready, set, go! CJ's in the lead. She's looking pretty fast. Diggly is a bit behind, but he's trying his best. Oh no! CJ has gone face first into the mud pit obstacle and is now stuck in the mud. Now Bump is in the lead. The mud is no problem for his big crawler tracks. Up the ramp. Now it's time to cross the narrow bridge. Bump is up first. What was that? A wrecking ball? Oops! Bad luck, Bump. Mrs. Skip is controlling the wrecking ball as another obstacle to get past. Nice dodge, Daisy. You can't beat a wrecking ball with a wrecking ball. Whoa! What knocked CJ over? It's Mr. Rubble. He's using a paint blaster to try and knock them off. Daisy's really good at dodging them. Careful, Diggly. Phew, he caught himself on the monkey bars. He might be slow on his crawler tracks, but he's super fast when he's using his strong arm. Diggly and Daisy are almost at the finish line. It's so close, they've just got to get down the ramp. Whoa! They crossed the line together. Looks like they both came in first place. Well done, guys. It's another windy day at Construction HQ. That wind really is blowing today. But today they're building a bigger enclosure for the sheep at the farm. Oh dear. The old sheep enclosure is far too small. Good job they're building a new one. That wind really is cold. And whoa, strong as well. But wait, what's Diggly seeing? Look, it's an old farm windmill. But it's wobbling all over the place in the wind. I think it's going to collapse. They have to stop it falling onto the sheep. Phew. Good job, Daisy. 
Now it's falling towards the pigs. Uh-oh, look out. Phew, Daisy saved it again. Now it's falling back towards the sheep again. Oh dear, this is no good at all. What are they going to do? Wait, I think Diggly has an idea. Hmm, Diggly's climbed up on a box. He's taken the wheel off the top. Ah, he's taking the old tower apart from the top down, so it can't fall over and hurt anyone. In no time at all, they've taken the tower apart. Now what can they do with all these planks of wood? They can recycle all the old planks from the tower and use them to build a bigger pen for the sheep. It's always good to build something new out of something old, instead of throwing things away. There, now the sheep have a much bigger place to play. Good job everyone! It's still a bit windy. Uh oh, Mr Rubble's hat! One of the sheep has it. Now he's got to get it. Buster the bus and Scout the car are playing soccer. Buster shoots. Goal! Well done, Buster. Great work. Whoa, it's a soccer bus. He plays for the big bus soccer team. He wants Buster to come try out for the team. But oh no, Buster is too shy. Scout encourages him, and Buster says okay. He'll come to the big game tomorrow. Scout is very proud of her friend, but Buster is still nervous. That night, Buster is sleeping peacefully in his garage. Buster dreams he's playing on the big bus soccer team. The game starts, but oh dear, the buses play rough. Now it's Buster's turn in goal. He tries to save it, but oh dear, the soccer buses don't look very impressed. Poor Buster, he's tried so hard. Phew, it was just a bad dream. But now Buster's even more nervous about trying out for the team. Scout does her best to encourage him. Buster can do it. She believes in him. Now it's time for the big game. Robin blows his whistle and the game begins. Oh no, the red bus has been injured. They can't play anymore. Buster will have to step in. Go on, Buster, you can do it. Buster kicks the ball and the game goes on. Buster is going in goal now. The blue bus takes a shot and... Buster saved it! Well done, Buster! You did so well! Hooray! That was so much fun! Mr. Rubble is heading off for a much-needed holiday. So today's building work is up to Diggly and Daisy. And today they need to build a brick wall. That looks pretty easy. Time to get started. Daisy thinks they should start the wall here. Oh, Diggly doesn't think so. He thinks they should start here. Daisy doesn't agree. Maybe they could start in the middle. Diggly and Daisy disagree. They're not going to work together. And poor CJ is stuck in the middle. Diggly and Daisy are each going to build their own wall the way they think it should be built. Each of them wants their wall to be the best. They're building faster and faster. Poor CJ is struggling to keep up with all the cement they need. Something is wrong. They've been so focused on their own walls that now they've trapped themselves in. Hmm, this is no good. But I think Daisy has an idea. Yes, Diggly agrees. They shouldn't fight. They should work together to fix the problem. Daisy has knocked her bit of the wall down. Now Diggly is knocking his down too. There, now they can start over again. But this time, Diggly and Daisy will work together and build one big wall that'll be nice and strong. They put all the bricks in place. 
Hooray! The wall is finished. Daisy's happy with it. And so is Diggly. Good teamwork, guys. CJ is so happy they're friends again. Oh, Diggly has a new book. Everyone wants to see. It's all about dinosaurs. But Mr. Rubble is waiting. It's time to start work. Today they're building a roundabout. Soon everyone is hard at work. Diggly just wants to read his book. But now isn't the time. There's work to do. Wait, what's Diggly found? It looks like some old bones. I wonder what they are. Daisy's collecting them up. There are so many. Oh, I think they're dinosaur bones. Now they just need to put them together like a jigsaw puzzle. Everyone is helping put the dinosaur bones together. Done. Uh, that doesn't look right. Oh dear, they'll have to try again. What about now? Nope, that's not right either. But wait, on the front cover. That's it. It's a T-Rex skeleton. Now they know what it is, they can put it together properly. Nice work, everyone. Now it can stand in the middle of the roundabout. It's a windy day at Construction HQ. That's a cool windmill, Daisy. And today, they're going to be building a wind turbine. Awesome! They need to attach a propeller to the pole at the top of that hill. Daisy's carrying the propeller up, but it's a bit windy. Whoa! Be careful! Oh dear! The wind blew her straight off the hill. But Bump will help Daisy get back up. Phew, the propeller is okay. Diggly and Daisy are trying again. Diggly is helping this time. Mr. Rubble isn't happy about all this mess. Time for Bump to get to work. The wind is back, but Bump has noticed that the wind sock flies whenever it's windy. Diggly and Daisy are being blown down the hill again. The wind is back and Bump is signalling to tell them to stop carrying the propeller. Looks like it worked! Now it's stopped, they can carry on. Go, go, go! Stop! What brilliant teamwork! Hooray! They made it to the top of the hill! Whoa! That was a close one! Now it's time to attach it to the pole! It worked! Great job, team! And look! It's powering the city's lights! How amazing! It was definitely worth all that work! It's another busy day at Construction HQ! And Mr Rubble is in a rush! Oops! Careful! Bump's block tower looks wobbly. <gasps> What's that sound? Let's go check it out. It's Iggy the ice cream truck. Oh yum! That looks delicious. The crew are going to grab an ice cream as well. Oh no! CJ accidentally knocked into Bump's block tower and now it's blocking their way out. How are they going to get an ice cream now? Daisy has an idea. She's built a ramp over the fence. That's very clever. Go on, CJ. She's got to the top. 
But oh no! It wasn't strong enough. Daisy has another idea. Oh, a seesaw. They can use it to bounce over the fence. Whoa, look at Diggly go. They're bouncing really high, but this might not help them get out. Diggly is on the case. He's digging a hole so they can get out under the fence. Off he goes. Did he reach the ice cream van? Ah, oh, a lion. This must be the zoo. One last go. They're going to knock the fence down together. Go, go, go. They did it. Well done, everyone. And there's Iggy the ice cream truck. Finally, they can get their ice cream. Mmm, yummy. Another? Yay! That was so much fun. But who's that? It's Mr. Rubble. He was off getting ice cream for the gang. Uh-oh. It looks like they've got some cleaning up to do now. Buster and Mommy Bus are visiting Terry's farm today. <laughs> Wow, the farm is so cool. Buster is so excited. <laughs> oh, look, an adorable litter of puppies. How cute. Buster has spotted a soccer ball. He loves soccer. <laughs> Mommy Bus is here to check that all the puppies are healthy, but Buster has other ideas. He wants to go and play some <laughs> soccer on the farm. <laughs> yeah. What was that? Oh. One of the puppies followed Buster outside. <gasps> Looks like she wants to play. Hmm, but Buster wants to play by himself. <laughs> there she is again. The puppy won't stop following him. Buster is throwing the puppy a stick to distract her. That will make her leave. Nope, that didn't work. And now the puppy has taken the soccer ball. What a cheeky little puppy. <gasps> Aha! Finally, Buster got his ball back. But the puppy still wants to play. Stay there, puppy. Buster is hiding behind a stack of hay bales. Not again! Maybe Buster can lose the puppy in the cornfield. The puppy is sad she can't find him, but Buster's plan worked. Oh no! How did that puppy get up there? She's going to fall! And Mommy Bus and Terry haven't noticed. Quick, Buster, quick! Go, Buster! Phew! He saved the puppy! That was a close one! Oh. Mommy Bus has noticed a puppy is missing. But don't worry, Buster has brought her home. What a fun day at the farm! Uh-oh, not again! It's a brand new day at Construction HQ. And everyone's excited to start work. <laughs> but Mr. Rubble looks so tired. <gasps> Oops. Daisy didn't mean to knock over all the plans. Mm. There. Today's mm. plans. <gasps> but something's wrong. Huh? That playhouse doesn't look right. <sighs> 
Oh well, if that's what the plans say, that's what they'll build. Now everyone's hard at work. But oh dear, Mr Rubble is so sleepy. Surely no one will notice if he has a short nap. But Diggly can't figure this out. Something is definitely wrong with these plans. But what is it? There. The playhouse is nearly finished. They just need a few finishing touches. But oh no! It doesn't stand up properly. This isn't right at all. Here's Mrs Skip. Looks like she's trying to say something. Hmm, that sign can spin upside down. That's it. The playhouse plans are upside down. That's why it looks all wrong. Now there's just one thing left to do. Three, two, one, jump! There. That woke Mr Rubble up. But the playhouse is the right way up now. Good job, everyone. It's a cold winter's day and it's been snowing. Diggly is making sure everyone is nice and warm by putting their woolly hats on. One for Bump. And one for Daisy. Oh no! The hat doesn't fit Daisy. But she's so excited to play in the snow that she leaves without it. Wow! It's very cold today. Daisy is a bit chilly. Everyone is having so much fun. Well, not everyone. Amber is trapped by the snow. Not to worry, the gang are here to save the day. Whoa, that was a big sneeze, Daisy. She's feeling a little bit poorly. Bump is clearing the way. Oops! Oh dear! Daisy is very cold and not feeling well at all. Poor Daisy. Nope. Amber says she needs to get some rest. They can finish the job tomorrow. Daisy is warming up by the fire and is feeling a little bit better now. Mrs Skip has an idea. She's going to knit some new hats for the gang. Wow, what a lovely hat. Daisy is feeling much better now. She's had some rest and a new hat is keeping her warm. Go on, Daisy. She is back to her usual self. Hooray! It's the construction crew. Hard at work as usual. Good work, Diggly and Johnny. Hmm. I wonder what's in that crate. Whoa. A yellow circle, a red triangle and a blue square. Oh. Diggly is right. The blue square will fit at the bottom of the tower. Go on, guys. Put it in place. Look out, Dozer. Oh, well, the square is in place at least. Here comes CJ. A little cement. And it's a door. I don't think Dozer liked being shut inside. Now the red triangle. Where does that belong? Aha! At the top of the flagpole. Go on, Diggly. Raise the flag. There. Well done, Diggly. Now just the yellow circle to go. I wonder where that goes. Oh, it's a clock. Which means it belongs at the very top of the clock tower. Somebody will have to go all the way up there. Be brave, Diggly. It's high up, but you can do it. Ready, everyone? Heave! Up and up we go. 
Don't look down, Diggly. Almost there. Keep pulling. There. Careful, Diggly. Just gently put the clock in place. Well done. You did it. What a brave little digger Diggly is. See you next time. Woo!